I'm Bishnu Datta Achare. I'm a physiotherapy officer at Karnali Academy of Health Science, Jumla, Nepal, and recently I'm studying at uh, uh, College of Health Science, Brisbane. Adaptive seating system or adaptive seating devices are any seating devices that support the posture of the children and in which they can use their upper limb function or they can perform their any activities for the daily livings. Can you explain to me, first of all, why is some form of adaptive seating system important for patients yeah. with cerebral palsy? Adaptive seating system says that they provide a uh, postural control of children with cerebral palsy. Mainly, they prevent they prevent from the abnormal deformities because when the children are not placed in any sitting devices, they develop uh, various deformities like contractor postural deformity and also even complications like respiratory complications, pressure sores, and so many other complications. To prevent those complications, if we place them in a sitting chair, then even they can promote themselves or they can involve themselves in playing activities, in participation and also improve upper limb function. Adaptive seating uh, is designed to help children with cerebral palsy, but there are many different types mm -hmm. of adaptive seating. Could you run me through very briefly the different sorts that are available and that indeed you have been studying in these different studies yeah, that you've put together? Yeah, there are many types of adaptive seating available, but mostly they are classified into low-cost seating devices and and other are found uh, are high expensive chairs. But it, it shows that the low-cost seating chairs like the paper-based technology that is used in Kenya and another corrugated chair that is used in another study, this shows that the low cost chair and expensive cost chair are equally mm, uh, important in uh, improving the seating posture of children. However, to prove this uh, in a systematic way, uh, methodological studies that like a randomized control trial is required to prove this effectiveness. In fact, this is mm -hmm. a massive study because it is very hard to do studies yeah. in physical therapy. So what do you think you've found? You've actually isolated some real facts that have come out of this. What were those facts? Yeah. What, what have you found? The study has found that the cl there are uh, clinical significance of this study finding. It includes that if we provide any sitting devices, that will definitely minimize the stress and burden of the family. Because the children with cerebral palsy, mainly from the gross level 3 to 5, they cannot move themselves and they require adaptive sitting devices or any ambulatory devices to move. So when they are placed in a sitting devices, their parents or family members can involve themselves in other activities. And another thing is this will definitely minimize the uh, complications like pulmonary complications, deformity, contractures and other various associated complications which increase the burden, financial burden to the family. They can involve themselves mainly in upper limb function. Sitting in a chair makes them easy to involve them in different activities like playing with friends, participating in the community and also they can interact with their uh, family members, different family members when they come in the house or visit them, they can involve themselves in that. So this increase their uh, activities and they can be socially interactive and minimize the stress of even the children with cerebral palsy. So you found, in effect, quite mm -hmm. big benefits, uh, but you mentioned that there are many different types of adaptive seating systems, some very costly and some quite inexpensive. What difference has emerged? Do you have to pay a lot of money to get a good effect? Actually, the study shows that it's not necessary to provide the uh, very expensive chair because the function of the low-cost seating chair and expensive chairs have nearly equal benefit Although the expensive chairs are they are strong enough, they can long last for a long period of time. However, the low cost seating, uh, seating chairs that is made from paper based technology which was used in Kenya, if we uh, protect it from the water or moist, then it can also sustain for a long period of time but the effectiveness is nearly equal. But to pr prove the effectiveness of uh, low cost and expensive, we need to perform the randomized control trial. So there's still data needs to be harvested, yeah. but so far, what have you? What can you say for definite? There are definite improvements in postural control and uh, the engagement of the children with the therapist and and families who are trying to help. So the important thing is that instead of keeping the child in lying position, it's always better to put them in a sitting devices, because this 
this have a lot of benefit or advantage which I mentioned earlier so I suggest to all the physical therapists or occupational therapists it's a good idea to keep them in a sitting position instead of placing in the lying chair so this would prevent from the complications improve their daily activity performance upper limb function sitting posture and postural control